Today's episode of Overworked History is about Mary Catherine Goddard and her role in the beginnings of the American Revolution. Mary Catherine Goddard was born in New England in 1738. Her parents were Giles and Sarah Updike Goddard. Mary had at least one sibling, a brother named William. In 1757, Giles Goddard died, and Sarah, Mary, and William moved to Providence, Rhode Island, where the three of them set up a printing press. They then began publishing the Providence Gazette, the first newspaper in the city. William later moved to Philadelphia and began publishing a newspaper there, along with another one in Maryland. In 1774, William had to leave his newspapers to promote the Constitutional Post. The Post was a joint effort between Benjamin Franklin and William Goddard, and is an ancestor of a modern United States Postal Service. After William left his newspapers, Mary took them over. In 1776, after the signing of the Declaration of Independence, Printer John Dunlap was tasked with printing copies. His copies, referred to as the Dunlap Broadsides, only listed signings John Hancock and Charles Thompson, in addition to a printer's credit at the bottom with Dunlap's name. Of the 200 copies printed, only 26 are known to exist today. In 1777, it was decided that more copies should be produced. This time, all of the signings seems to be listed so the public could see who was risking their lives to create a new country. By signing the document, the Founding Fathers were committing treason against the Crown, and now they would make it known who they were. For this new printing, Mary Catherine Goddard was chosen to print this new version. At the bottom, she added her name for all to see, joining the Founding Fathers. During the war from 1775 to 1789, she served as Postmaster of Baltimore, she was removed by Postmaster General Samuel Osgood, who felt the job required too much traveling for a woman. This caused public outcry, and petitions were created to get her reinstated. These efforts were unfortunately unsuccessful, and until around 1810, Goddard ran a bookstore in Baltimore. She died in 1816. Mary Catherine Goddard played a major role in helping spread the word about the Declaration of Independence. Only nine of the original guarded broadsides are known to exist. Thank you.